question about our community tonight. Uh, I kind of went around and secret shopped a little bit at some of our attractions and hotels and restaurants. And the, the one thing I want is when someone says, what is there to do in Danville? You guys have to start rattling off stuff. Okay? Uh, if I ever hear somebody say, ah, I'm just going to like, there's nothing to do here, I will slash your tires or something. <laughs> Welcome to the Community Arts Center. This is one of the largest, if not the largest, art center in the region. Our mission is to provide arts opportunities to every member of our community. Let me say that again. We want to provide arts opportunities to every member of our community. When your guests or visitors come to Danville, they immediately become members of our community. So we like to invite them into this art center to enjoy all the activities that we have here. Yeah. In terms of bus, Maneuvering right there. That was slow. That was that was slow. <laughs> we got to step that up next time, okay? Uh, all right, we're off to Center College. I think. The Arts Center has two theaters and, as you see in the foyer, we have an art uh, gallery of sorts. We have uh, art exhibitions. Uh, we will have changing art exhibitions in the future. Right now, it's a little more stagnant. But if you're in a situation where people are saying, "What can I do? Is there anything we?" Uh, the people, this is open to the public. People are welcome to come and look at the artwork. This is not a student artwork. Very Googleable. If you Google Dollhouse Museum, we're first up. So you can find us. You yeah. can find our phone number that way. You can email me. Uh, whatever. Uh, we have a big gift shop. And in the gift shop, we sell jewelry and pottery and art, as well as a huge number of miniatures for dollhouses, as you might expect. We also have a big banquet room and we do school groups, Girl Scout groups, Red Hat groups, all kinds of groups and birthdays, just to give you an idea, uh, a birthday party for 10 kids for half a day, including a big art project is $90, includes admission, uh, includes 10 kids and their parents and the whole package. Grayson's Tavern. That was built in 1785. That's one of the original buildings on the park, and that is home to the tourism office. So, if you have questions uh, or you want to send visitors our way, please do. Uh, we're open uh, 9 to 4:30 during the week, and we're open 10 to 4 on Saturdays. Uh, Constitution Square, obviously home to uh, uh, the Commonwealth's founding. Uh, all the buildings that you see, excluding the post office and Grayson's Tavern, are replicas. Uh, the building, the original buildings, but built on their actual sites. Does that make sense? So those were built in the 40s, house, which is uh, run by the state park system. They've got a great uh, selection of Kentucky Proud gifts. Uh, it's great for uh, Christmas uh, style gifts. They've got a ton of stuff. Uh, unfortunately, uh, their hours uh, have been cut a little bit recently. Uh, they're usually not open on Mondays. Uh, as the state budget system kind of works through uh, all the travails. I'm sure you guys have read about in the paper. But uh, Governor Circle uh, behind us, that has all the uh, names of our governors. I think we're actually one behind right now for the plaque, and they're actually going to put that in, I think, in the next two months. Um, am I forgetting anything on Constitution Square, guys? Good morning and welcome. Um, how many of you have actually been in the shop before? Oh, good, quite a few. I was kind of worried there for a little while. I was wondering how many people have actually made it in. We've been in this location for about um, 15, 16 months or so, and we're doing really well. We've been uh, welcomed by the community tremendously, which has been incredible, especially by the Center College students. We have about 135 different flavor combinations of cupcakes. We also do special occasion cakes where, you know, birthdays, anniversaries, um, anything like that, 
and weddings. So we actually do wedding cakes as well. So we're not strictly a cupcake shop. We're actually a cake shop that ha happens to have cupcakes as well. Um, we all we had started off as a bed and breakfast. It had been initially started by Mary Adams here in 1934 as a sort of a rooming house. We expanded that to a bed and breakfast. We added three guest rooms and one wing of the house. And it was founded by my husband who wanted to be an actor came back to Danville after he had been up in New York City and brought some acting friends, and so uh, that is how it started. So from recycled materials, this place has been built, and it's unusual to have a summer stock theater this old. They're getting fewer and fewer around the country. Broadway program. So uh, Romeo, um, Romeo to Go is about a high school class that has had cuts in their artistic programs, which we experience all over the state and all over the country, and they have been told to perform a full Shakespeare play in 20 minutes. So um, if you'd like to see some something really uh, fun and fast-paced, come to see that. You can get tickets online. We have a website, www.westthill. That is the gentleman's name who founded us. His first name was West. Um, he was a Center College drama professor. And he and his wife, Dorothy Bell, got together and decided that the community needed a community theater. We're still here. 64 ounces. Putting our ground. I said, yeah. My glasses are getting